Hello everybody, welcome to part two of um, my uh, exploration of this 1996 Aptiva with OS2 Warp 4 on it. And uh, if you watch part one, I was just about to show you the Lynx browser for, uh, for um, <coughs> OS2, which was ported. I th and uh, in another video, I have shown you the DOS port. And I'll tell you that the browser for the OS2 uh, Lynx, the Lynx browser in OS2, is far more stable than it is in, 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 in the DOS port. Um, I'm sure they'll work on the DOS port because uh, I, find it, I find it very good for, uh, for DOS. Um, but it's good for this too. I'll go to Wikipedia first just to show you that uh, does load and you can see pictures and things and it's far better you're far better off with using a browser like this in order to uh, look at the web than trying to use um, the Netscape um, browser the old Netscape browser that's bundled in with with OS 2 because the modern web um, there's just, it chokes on on far too much and um, besides the Netscape browser was basically a text browser anyway and um, and if you're trying to use Java support and things like that you're just inviting difficulties because the browser just isn't a, the old browsers just aren't up to it um, yeah so you've got the as you know with with the Lynx browser you can have graphical mode and you can also have text mode which I'll show you right here and here it is in text mode once it loads up, and there's Wikipedia once again, except this time, just in text, um, just like the Lynx browser. I also have the the real L Y N X Lynx browser, and that and that works as well. Um, although I find this, uh, I find uh, the Lynx browser a lot more comfortable to use because of the menu system. So it's always. Um, I kind of like a GUI a little bit. Not that I always use GUI, but it's nice to have it handy. Um, also, a lot of people saying like, "How can can you get into Win? Can you get on the internet with uh, Win OS 2?" And and I say, "Yes, you can." Um, it's a bit it's a bit tricky. Um, I know a guy had a little bit of difficulty doing it. Oh, you can also get your sound working on uh, in Win OS 2, as you heard the wave file for when it. Uh, for when it opened up. Oh, and they also said there's a little bit of problems with um, with with a MIDI file. I'll just play it quickly. I'll just play a quick MIDI file here. I'll just open it up. There we go. Canyon MIDI. And I'll just play it. And there you have it. The uh, I'll just turn up the volume a little bit. I think. Where's the volume here? There we go. So there you have Canyon MIDI, and that that's a MIDI file, and of course it plays waves because you heard it start, and it does play CDs. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna dig out a CD and play it, but uh, you can uh, eject the uh, compact disc and and it, sh and it does open up. It's a bit, um, it's a bit temperamental somehow for for uh, for doing the animation for opening the compact disc, but it does. It, it does work and it plays the CDs. It's not as uh, it it tends to like its own. It tends to like um, Windows on its own. It doesn't like WinOS 2, the WinOS 2 shell as much. But it does work, and it works fine. Um, also, the internet. Um, I put in just to demonstrate. I put in I put in a Gopher program just so you can see that it does. Um, I haven't got a I haven't got a good Win browser that a Win browser would work, but uh, you know they're uh, I'm not really up to uh, loading in uh, IE5 or anything like that because I'm quite happy with using links, so so I did kind of find a pointless. But I will use. But here's a Gopher, and you can see I can go through all these different uh, um, Gopher sites. <laughs> that's kind of a funny look at that big skull and, and and so yeah you can go to gopher sites the problem people have with uh, going into uh, 
using the WinOS 2 is that the auto exec bat um, loads in the name servers uh, for for um, for WinOS 2 and what you've got to do in order to make this work and, and, and it was something that it, it baffled me for the longest time but I figured it out um, after reading some documentation and uh, getting through the uh, reading it carefully through the technical jargon I found out that um, that you can use uh, you just all you do is that you go into your setup TCP IP configuration in LAN your LAN configuration and you can't do this manually in the um, in the resolve um, f file that's in uh, TCP IP DOS etc um, you have to actually put in your local demo, do, domain name you have to put in the IP number of the computer on your home network in my case it's 192.168.0.6 so that way um, the DNS has has a callback it, it has to call back to the um, um, to back to DOS so um, you have to do that and you can't do it manually you can't just go into the file and change it because IBM when it loads up it'll overwrite it I don't know why IBM did their TCP IP that way but they seem to think that it was good to do I don't know why they would do that but another thing I should show you too is that um, if you're setting up if you've got um, if you've got an internet connection and you're needing a lot of more programs and you don't want to have to keep uh, you know um, using uh, um, disks to uh, put in your programs or getting drivers for certain things um, you know and if you and if you need files from the internet um, and you haven't and you're not able to get links set up yet but you can use you can use the browser that is in warp believe it or not for FTPing and uh, that's about one of the few uses it's got but it's a very powerful use because um, if I use Web Explorer um, I didn't demonstrate this before and I think it's quite important and I got it in my quick list is the Sunsight uh, FTP so if you need files or you need to go to Hobbs to get to get files um, actually I've got a Hobbs direct link actually I'll just go quick I'll just use the quick list and get to the the index of Hobbs and here it is um, you can go to the index of Hobbs and you can get all the um, uh, utilities and um, stuff that you need like apps and uh, drivers and all sorts of stuff that if, if you need a program to to start running OS2 um, so yeah that's very handy so that's one of the good uses about IBM Web Explorer so if you haven't got anything else set up if you've just set up OS2 and you haven't got any programs or anything at all in it but you've managed to get the TCP IP going uh, of course you have to have that naturally you can um, you can use the uh, Web Explorer to go to FTP to places to get your to get your files that you need. Um, I kind of wish I'd known that in the in the, in the beginning because uh, I was transferring files. I was using a you know I was using the CD-ROM drive, copying files and bringing them over, and you know that was not good. That was but of course a lot of that was doing it before that I was able to uh, load in the uh, stuff the drivers for the Ethernet card and so forth um, and I actually when I started using OS2 I had a lot of trouble with TCP IP it's one of the failings of OS2 warp is that um, they didn't really have a very good TCP IP in fact there's fixes for it and, and uh, that you can try but I, I ended up uh, having, having to um, figure it out myself but anyways, thank you for watching this video about OS2 Warp, and I hope there were some instructions that might help you. Bye for now.